since uh, being a, a dealer for these, we don't have to go buy expensive warring bars. If they need something precise, we could just stick an email in there, interpolate it, and they're going to get a good part. Hello my friends and welcome back to MTD CNC. As you can see, I'm standing with my buddy Ben and we're in front of the Yazda machine. Yazda is known as one of the most accurate machines on the planet, still being a hand scraped, made in Japan, the quality, the precision, when we talk about what a micron actually is. Yeah, for some of us out there that are understanding microns, that tolerance is so precise. And part of that precision is the demo that we're running today with Ben. Ben. This is kind of a cool project, and there's not a whole lot of machines, if any machines, can actually do what you're doing here today. Would you mind explaining what you're making and how this actually shows off the precision of the Yazda? Yeah, so what we did is we took this plate and we drilled the holes, roughed them out, and then we roughed out with an end mill, circular insert plate in them, and then finished them also circular insert plate with the same end mill. Uh, just did two spring pass, or one spring pass, and uh, came out with the precision part. Basically, I've uh, shown you that it can in mill a uh, round hole. So when we're talking about machining a precision part, to my understanding, this block that we're looking at here on the table, you have a couple of pins in there, and then you have a gauge pin as well. And what happens is, most of the time when we're machining on any machine in general, when we poke a hole, that hole is fine. But if we switch it 90 degrees or 180 degrees, that's when that precision makes it difficult to line up on most machines out there. Would you mind showing the accuracy that you've created here by with this gauge pin we have here and rotating it 180 degrees and then utilizing that same accuracy? There we go. So what we're doing is we've just popped out the pins. Now we've rotated it 90 degrees. These are the set pins that put the, make sure the plate is in place. And now we can take out this gauge pin here and put it into any hole, and we've rotated it 90 degrees. And if we were to do that one more time, we'd have the same results, wouldn't we? You can even do it off to the side. So, so he just moved it off to the. So pretty much any angle, any direction. Once you uh, get it set in there, it's going to be as accurate as it was from day one, from the start, from the first side. And that's the ultimate precision when we think about what 5-axis machining does, right? And as we get into bigger parts and we expand from that Z0, Z that's where that difficulty comes into play is that further and further we get away on all of those different rotations. Is that correct? Absolutely. Absolutely. And each one of these holes was also machined at different degrees of C-axis. So it wasn't just straight on. It, we rotated at 45 degrees, 270, 90 every, every um, angle that we could for all the different holes. I mean, that is an incredible demo to me. Is there anything, actually, you know what I want to ask you? I want to ask, how fun is it to work with the Yazda machine, knowing that every part that comes off of it is going to be exactly what you program? Uh, for, you know, being a, a dealer for these, we don't have to go buy expensive warring bars. If they need something precise, we could just stick an email in there, interpolate it, and they're going to get a good part. Ben, thank you so much for showing this part, the quality precision of the Yazda. We constantly repeat that precision, tell the world about it. Yazda tells, it about it, tells us about it, Methods tells us about it. But to visually see a demo like this, very, very well done, my friend, and thank you for showing that off. Thank you.